Hey guys, we are back today with episode number 15 of Truck History. Today we are bringing you the competitive counterpart to our latest episode number 14, History of Ford Trucks video with the history of GMC trucks. Similar to Ford trucks, GMC is primarily known for the production of their light duty trucks as well as cars. However, GMC also produced some pretty cool heavy duty big rigs also. Let's jump right into their history. GMC was officially founded over 100 years ago in 1911 by William C. Durant, although the company didn't begin production of their medium and heavy-duty truck lines until later. In fact, it wasn't until 1923 that GMC decided to add a truck-tractor version to their already successful K-Series trucks introduced three years prior. Two years later in 1925, the K-Series was revised to reflect the heavy-duty Big Brute Model K-101. For several years, the K-Trucks underwent few changes. In 1931, two new heavy-duty T-Series trucks debuted. Included were models T-10 and T-130 that were intended for off-road and construction uses. After struggling through the economic turmoil that was the Great Depression, GMC came up swinging in 1934 with the introduction of their first cab-over engine models. In 1939, an all-new A-Series was announced by GMC. The helmet steel heavy-duty cab featured on the previous models was carried over on all medium and heavy-duty models, as well as all cab-over engine models. In 1941, the CC and CF series took over the AC and AF medium-duty trucks. 6x6 model CC KW 350 military trucks also became the workhorses for the US and Allied forces during this time. In April of 1942, GMC truck engineers began work on a new model DUKW-353 prototype, a 6x6 amphibious cargo troop carrier truck for the U.S. Army. This new model, nicknamed the Duck, was completed in June of 42 and quickly began production in November of the same year. The Second World War ended with the capitulation of Imperial Japan aboard the USS Missouri on September 2nd, 1945. In July of 1947, full-on production of post-war trucks began with the second series redesigned light and medium-duty conventional cab FC models and cab over FF350 and FF450 trucks. In 1951, the first of the M135 family of 6x6 military trucks were built by GMC for the U.S. Army. These special military-grade vehicles could withstand operation in water up to 11 feet deep with the installation of available deep-water forcing kits. The next year, in 1952, GMC introduced the 450 and 470. Later in the year, an expanded 630 series of conventional and cab-over engine trucks were released in either 4x2 or 6x4 configurations. In March of 1955, completely redesigned blue-chip medium-duty conventional and cab-over engine models were introduced by GMC. These trucks featured an all-new appearance with a much larger cab sporting a one-piece wraparound windshield that provided an improved level of comfort and visibility for the driver. Later in 1955, a new heavy-duty DF-860 cab-over engine truck was released. This DF-860 truck sported a non-tilting hood and a strip-away system with folding seats, floorboards, and a removable center hub. This DF-860 was a favorite among fleets and was eventually given the nickname Cannonball after a TV show used a DF-860 with the same name. A few years later in 1958, a new D860 conventional cab truck with a shorter 90-inch bumper to back of cab was released by GMC. In 1960, GMC released their new Class 8 cab over DF series to replace the Cannonball DF860 trucks. These DF trucks were available in single or tandem axle configurations with a 48-inch bumper to back of cab length or an optional 72-inch bumper to back of cab sleeper truck. These trucks quickly earned their Cracker Box nickname due to their boxy, squared-off appearance. Also in 1960, GMC launched the L-Series of tilt cab trucks. The L-Series trucks had a steel tilt cab designed and built by GMC and a 72-inch bumper to back of cab length. In 1963, new medium-duty models were introduced with the B3500 and H5000 trucks. That same year, the heavy-duty truck line was rounded out with the addition of the DBI 7000 trucks. 
1966, GMC unveiled their first dedicated all-new heavy-duty trucks with the HJ series and the C-M series trucks. The HJ series trucks had center-hinged butterfly hoods, but the CM series trucks instead had a front-hinged fiberglass hood. These new models shared a common cab but sported different bumper to back of cab lengths with the HJ series coming in at 93 inches whereas the C-M series was a little longer at 112 inches. In 1969, the introduction of the GMC Astro 95 as a heavy duty class 8 cab over truck to replace the aging cracker box cab over trucks occurred. The Astro was the largest cab over truck ever built by GMC and in stark contrast to its cracker box predecessor, sported a rounded off body with a wraparound windshield and a longer bumper to back of cab length. The newly styled rounded edges featured on the Astro reduced air resistance and fuel consumption, making it more aerodynamic than previous models. The Astro had many different options available, making it the most luxurious heavy duty GMC truck ever built. In 1977, the GMC General was released as a heavy duty class 8 truck offered in both 108 and 116 inch bumper to back of cab lengths. Also known as the NM9500, these Generals replaced the old M series trucks. The General would go on to eventually be the last heavy duty truck made by the company, as well as the largest conventional cab truck GMC ever produced. In 1978, the GMC Brigadier was introduced as a replacement for the HJ range of rigs. These Brigadiers were a short conventional cab truck that had a 92.75 inch bumper to back of cab length. Additionally, these Brigadiers were available in 8000 through 9500 series trucks and used the same cab as its preceding HJ series truck line. The Brigadier truck would go on to become one of the most successful heavy duty GMC trucks ever built. A few years later in 1979, GMC released a SS Special Series package for the Astro that featured a much larger radiator and grille, as well as other improvements to the exterior and interior, in hopes to please owner-operators. The next year, the larger SS grille was made standard on all Astro trucks, as they not only accommodated large radiators, but were better looking in appearance. In 1981, the GMC Top Kick Medium Duty Class 7 trucks were introduced as a variant of the CK Medium Duty truck line in hopes to integrate a larger engine. In order to accommodate such an engine, the cab was raised several inches to achieve a taller, boxier hood. In 1983, GMC introduced the new Aero Astro as an aerodynamic fuel efficient version of their Astro 95. This Aero Astro sported a fiberglass drag foiler with accordion fold urethane sides, which made it much more versatile and allowed for easier folding. Jumping forward into the next year, 1984 saw the introduction of the new medium duty tilt cab forward series trucks. Designed and built by Isuzu in Japan, the forward models used primarily Isuzu built components. In 1986, GMC entered a joint venture with the Volvo-owned and operated White Motor Company to produce heavy trucks under the aptly named White GMC badging. Under this joint venture, Volvo GM Heavy Truck Corporation was formed, with Volvo taking over the majority of the design, development, and production of the heavy-duty vehicles produced in the venture. A few years later in 1989, a second generation of the medium-duty Top Kick truck was introduced. For several years, the Top Kick trucks remained largely unchanged. A bit later in 2002, the GMC W medium duty tilt cab series was introduced. In 2003, GMC released a third generation of their Top Kick truck line with the GMT 560 chassis. The new Top Kicks were produced in class 5 through 7 configurations as the C45 through 7500 and the heavy duty class 8 C8500, which essentially served as a successor to the GMC Brigadier. With this third generation top kick came a new design layout that featured a vertically oriented cab configuration borrowed from the GMC Savannah full-size van. The severe economic downturn occurring in the US around this time led GMC to announce that their medium duty truck business would be sold to Navistar International in 2008. However, due to a deepening recession, this deal was never materialized. Because of this, in 2009, GMC unfortunately was forced to end production of their medium-duty trucks after over 100 years of production. However, many classic medium and heavy-duty GMC trucks can still be found in operation in the hands of collectors and show truck enthusiasts all over. That's all we have for the history of GMC trucks. Thanks for watching.
Before you leave though, please make sure to like the video, check out the other videos on our channel, and subscribe. If you'd like to stay up to date with the new projects we have coming, follow us at Jack's Chrome Show on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Our truck history shirts are still available at jackschromeshow.com, so make sure you check them out on the website. They will be on sale this coming weekend through Christmas for $15, so make sure you pick yours up now while they're still in stock. If you're in the mood for some chrome, drop by our Chrome Shops website, jackschromeshop.com, and save on your order by using the discount code YouTube. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next week, and remember, if your rig don't shine, you don't know Jack.